matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest man on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Take for this, our main event of the evening. Bisping is three years his senior. He will have a six inch reach advantage. Now for the introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve LeBain. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 23 wins, eight losses. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, presenting the challenger, Iron Michael Chan. And now, introducing the champion, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 31 wins, nine losses. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Manchester, England. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Michael the Cup is here! UFC belt online, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch now, do it now, go back to your phone. for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that dodge will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, beautiful. 
beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Nice loop and punch. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. All right, single collar tie now. Three minutes to go. Let's go. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Takedown defense holds up. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Just misses there with the left. Bisping gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Big head kick. Ooh, blocks the shot. Both guys landing at a pretty decent clip. Let's get going now. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Trying to double up on that jab. Ooh. Just right there, he could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or at his mama's house for Thanksgiving. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Bisman. Second round, straight ahead. All right, there's the end of the round, and you've got to be in a serious flow to not just execute that Superman punch, but to even attempt it. To even try it, you've got to be really in your rhythm. Everything has to be going perfectly, as we saw in the lead-up to that attack. Well, what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did the execute. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of the time. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, that's a nice strike. Some nice back and forth action here. And he gets hit with an outside leg kick. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Keep your weight in the center. Hold him there. Let's start to work that body now. This pink shot there is blocked. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Whiffs on that offering. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. Not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit... Right there, the Top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. 
No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Close guard. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Ooh. Huge right hand! Oh, he got him! He got him! 30 seconds to go. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Ten minutes in the books. Hey, stop! All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what you, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent's staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh! All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the whole Back to the feet. News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. This pink shot is blocked. Oh, yes, it is a lost start in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. Nice little shot. And that's going to do it. He got him. Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. So there he is, ladies and gentlemen, the UFC heavyweight champion. And I'm not sure any heavyweight could have held up under that onslaught, a flurry of strikes to set up the TKO and championship victory here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Andrew Bees called a stop to this contest at one minute, 47 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO and still. So heavyweight title retained is the headline inside this arena here tonight. Congratulations to the still heavyweight champ. Uh, once again, proven he's the elite among the elite. In a division where everything can change in a second, this guy has brought consistency to something that is so volatile. What a champion, what a fighter. He